Hey, I am Emmanuel Bender. I work at Riverside Studios. That's where we are right now. And I'm going to record or I'm going to show you how to record a violin string section really easily. When recording violins, it's uh, it's important to layer them if you want a full string sound, if you if you want a string section in your mix. So it's important to record quite a lot of layers. Today the mic I'm using is a Audio Technica 4033A, which uh, I think is a really good one to capture the softness of the strings. If you want to capture more uh, sharp tones and more transients of um, violins, then I would recommend a um, small diaphragm microphone, condenser microphone. So when asking the question uh, of how close to the mic you want to be when you're recording a violin, for a string section I would recommend um, being a little bit further away from the mic, maybe 30-40 centimeters to make the section sound more like a string section, as if it was recorded in an orchestra where the microphones aren't as close as well. If you want a grittier sound, I would recommend uh, being closer to the mic because you pick up more of the, the details and the transients of your playing. Especially if you want to record staccato and more uh, articulated sounds, I've, especially then it's it's better to record close mic. All right, now so we are in the DAW where we recorded the violin tracks, and um, I've got these five tracks here, and the last one is the close mic, uh, the little bit grittier one that I recorded. And um, first off, just to put them into the mix, I panned the four far away recordings. I panned the first one to the left and the second one to the right, then the third one a little bit to the left and the fourth one a little bit to the right. So that they're just opening up in the stereo image. And then the close mic take, I just um, put on top of it in the center. So let's listen to the violins by themselves. First, um, the first one, the first far away mic. Here's the second one. And that's all four of the far mic um, violins. And now I'm gonna add the close mic. So now we have the whole string section. And now we could listen to it in the mix and see how the, the balance is going to turn out between the backing track and the violins. So what I did is I turned the strings all the way down and then brought them back up until the, I had the level that I, that I liked. So what I did for treatment on the strings is right here. Um, I put a um, Teletronics LA-2A compressor on it just to flatten the peaks just a little bit. Yeah, two other things that I used are a exciter for strings just to add a little bit of high end, a little bit of texture in the in the high end. Uh, this time I'm doing it with Isotope Alloy 2, which has a nice tape um, exciter for strings. The second thing I'm I usually add is of course a little bit of reverb, and in this case I used um, uh, Austrian Concert Hall and Lexicon 
uh, which are two diff just two different lengths lengths of uh, verb. A little bit shorter one to give it some some room, and then a really long spacey one to add some some magic to the strings. So these are the two reverbs I used. First one is Austrian Concert Hall, as you can hear here. Which gives it just a little bit of placement in the room for the for the ears. And then the second one is a really long lexicon reverb, which sounds like this. And if I add them both, on EQing, usually I don't do much EQing on strings, except for what you definitely should do is a low cut up until maybe 100 hertz or maybe even more. Uh, especially with violins you don't have a lot of low end till I think 200-300 hertz so you can cut that away so it doesn't interfere with uh, with your mix. And then um, sometimes I go and look for peaks in the violins if I have a, if, if I have a take that really is really shrill or something I'm gonna look for the peaks but in, in this case because I used the Audio Technica 403033, which is fairly smooth, I don't need to do much of uh, much equalizing. Thank you for watching. I hope this inspired you to use strings and violins in your mix and uh, beef up your productions. <laughs>